Okay, well, we seem to be going. Uh, I, uh, I have uh, us on uh, Facebook. Let me make sure it's going good there. Uh, we don't do any special openings. This is not a highly produced program. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. There we are. Okay, we got some people watching. And uh, I, we're recording this. Uh, are we? Yes. And everything's going good. So all I have to do to start bringing people into the uh, fold here. If you want to find out how to call us on this, you can, uh, if you're on my Facebook page right now, which you probably are, right below us is a, uh, is a little notification, and you go to that, okay? You go to that. And if you don't know exactly where to go, you can always go to gabnet.net, and at gabnet.net, there's a thing on the right-hand side of the page in the middle of the, of the, uh, of the column, of the column on the right the right hand side uh, just um, you know click there and it's zoom and it's real easy to do let me start admitting these people here we got quite a few here we got uh, let me see here okay wait a minute let me see here admit Lynn there we go wow we a lot of people hello everybody how are you very good Ben very good I'm I'm wearing this. Uh, hi, hi, let's see. Hello to Andrew. Hello to oh, Charlie. Hello to Steve. Hello to Rick. Hello to Lynn. It's our normal uh, Monday crew. Uh, and it's wonderful to have you here. And hopefully we'll be joined by other people too. Look what I'm wearing, Rick, for you. What? <clears throat> Pants? Oh, you cap? Pants. A New York Yankees cap. Well, they made the playoffs, whatever that's worth. Yeah, uh, he's a big Yankees fan, always has been, always will be. But in case he wasn't happy with me wearing this cap, I thought I'd wear this one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, anyway. <laughs> I think you gave this to me, didn't you? Maybe. Maybe. What is that, a Letterman cap? Yeah. Can't... What do you mean? Oh. You can't see? Oh, there you go. Well, you wouldn't have bought one, so I had to have given it to you. Yeah, right, right. right. <laughs> I wouldn't have bought one. <laughs> yeah, but you got you got jackets and everything. You, you, Dave, yeah, but you see him last night, Santa Claus again. Uh, Santa Claus again, yeah. He was on the uh, on the the, Emmy. uh, the Emmys, which, by the way, I must admit, was embarrassing. I didn't watch it. I just downloaded it yeah. earlier today, but. Watched it. Yeah. Hey. And we're being joined by Marjorie. Uh, yeah, it was. A, it wasn't a. You know, I mean. Uh, well, what are they supposed to do? I mean, I don't know. You know what I found about it? That I didn't like. It wasn't inclusive. Not very many white people won last night. Well, apparently, some <laughs> black woman won on that. What is it called? Cuby or Quibby or whatever. Really? That's and apparently she has one line in the show. She's on the show for 30 seconds, and she won an Emmy. Oh, She's right. the one that came in that gold outfit? No, no. I have no idea, Marjorie, because I didn't watch it. No. Uh, <laughs> they had... Uh, <laughs> uh, you don't... You don't had, like, three words that she said. Okay. Yeah, well, the person who won for... Uh, best uh, supporting actress, I think, in a in a show, a drama show, um, was some woman I've never heard of in my life. She's some kid, and I I can't even remember her name. I couldn't tell you who she was. Yeah, but this woman who won for the three words she said, never heard of her in my life. Well, on Quibi or Quibi or Quibi, whatever it's called. Quibi. Yeah. Let me let me put on this hat. Well, let's 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 address the elephant in the room, just in case you're all wondering. I I didn't win. Huh? <laughs> what did you I say? didn't win, Alex. I oh, didn't get did. an Emmy. You didn't. Yeah, you, you can talk about inclusion, but it doesn't get much whiter than Schitt's Creek, right? Which yeah, one? No, that, that's a, that's <laughs> correct. But they're or, Canadian. Or, or Canadian, that's true. But or nine success. awards. Listen, I heard a that's story. A you, you've heard the story, right, Shecky? Because you keep up with showbiz news. The star of The Mandalorian yes. quit halfway through filming the newest season. Oh, I hadn't heard that. Saying that he wanted to do his part without his helmet on. 
because the, the <laughs> character has a helmet. <laughs> and one of the things they say is, well, do you ever take it off? And uh, only when I'm alone. No, he took ever, it off to eat. Nobody has ever seen me without it because that's what a Mandalorian does. We wear the, ma the uh, right. helmet all the time. He uh, quit the show halfway through. Saying well, then, wanted, man, they you wanted, play the Mandalorian. Who cares? Well, this is the point. I'm trying to figure out what his bargaining chip is here. Yeah, you right. know, He's got a helmet on, and all you hear is his voice, and somebody could imitate his voice. Or just a new voice. Yeah. Yeah. Like the robot on Lost in Space. Now, he could be any damn suit. You he, know. Want, he wanted people to see his face more. That's okay. That's well, We'll never see you again. Whoever. Well, he was on Game of Thrones. Go there and we'll look at his face. You know, <laughs> ask, ask the people who played Darren on Bewitched how that works. Yeah, right, you're right mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. yeah, but Dick York had a medical condition. Why he left the show? Really? Did he have a medical condition? I didn't know. That. Yes, he had a very bad back, and that's why he left. Oh, he didn't hmm. leave well, that... because he, you know, I'm a big star, and yeah, but that show isn't exactly a backbreaking job. <laughs> well, whatever he, whatever problem he had, he couldn't, in his mind, continue working the show. Hey, yeah. Alex, you don't know what kind of damage it does to your back when your wife twitches her nose and turns you into a monkey. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> it's just bad for you. He, also, he died very young. I mean, he yeah. didn't. He well, died. I, as, as, Wait, as, can I interrupt good. for a minute? Yeah. Tell me how to put it on. Um. Uh. Not here or turn off the audio because I have to work at the oven. So what do I do? Why you. do you want to turn off the oven? You hit you. I'm in the kitchen. Gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm preparing Are you, are are you going to make much noise at the oven? Yeah, so how do I put it on? Where do... Echo, stop. Well, how do I do <laughs> There's a few. There's Echo. A few. Okay. I don't know. Echo, stop. Echo. <laughs> Echo. <laughs> Echo, make monkey noises. <laughs> Echo, stop. <laughs> I okay. have to turn to the oven, so tell me what I have to do. Wait a minute, where is the mute? Well, if you just go down uh, somewhere on the... Uh, if it's on the top left, at least on mine. top left, it says leave. Where does it say mute on yours? Because you're using an iPad, too. I don't see mute. Right. Oh, I see mute. I see mute. Okay, okay. Wait, well, you mute it, but if you're going to be working... Yeah, wait, wait a minute. If you're going to be working... Hold on a second. Marjorie, Marjorie, come back. Keep going. Wait a minute. I, if you're going to be working at the at the uh, oven, just turn the iPad yeah. around so we can see you working at the oven. Yeah, Bree does it all the time. Yeah, come on, <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Come on, Bree's as long as you're not working from the Cannibal Cookbook, I don't want to see that. Come on, turn it around. Come on. Oh jeez. Yeah, but she's Alex. cooking for you, Alex. She's cooking a chicken. What does it take to do a chicken? I think well, she's I got a guy in there. Chicken. I don't even look at it. <laughs> but Alex, you know the secret man to her there. recipe is love. Yeah. What? The secret to her recipe is love. I guess. Yeah. I, I ordered out to Costco today. I guess we're back to having toilet paper problems. Oh, no. Oh, not they, ours. They didn't have Kirkland toilet paper. Now, that's their house brand. You know, huh? they bring in oh, chicken sure. to that stuff, and they ran out of it. Not ours. Yeah, we were there yesterday. Oh, really? No, mine has more than you ever wanted. Well, we didn't, weren't able to get toilet paper today. So we still have, we have like, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, how many rolls are in each thing? About three of the packages of it. 36, 42. No, 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 no not the huge one, but the, you know, the thing. It's, there's six in each. We've got 18 rolls. Yeah, but I, 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 I know you're a woman. You use that <laughs> stuff like you use taffy. That would be nice. Yeah. And now that winter's coming, I can't just throw the hose through the window from the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Those little spray nozzles are amazing. Yeah, they can, they can do the job. Andrew, your joke about the woman with the hair on her chest was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, it was Red Fox. <laughs> it sounded like a Red Fox. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't original. The part that's funny is my kid getting upset that somehow it's making fun of trans people. <laughs> oh really yeah everything I, makes fun of someone these days let's face it isn't that great when are we gonna <laughs> get back when are we gonna get back to being able to make fun of people yeah never 
you know? Everyone, uh, like, joke, whatever that means. Not in know? our lifetime. I mean, any joke you tell now, it's, uh, I mean, I was talking to my friend Bobby Slayton, and he's, he's quit working. He just stopped. Yeah. He said, I can't use my act. To, I can't do it. Yeah. If, 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 so the spirit, if the spirit behind the joke is because you really want to offend somebody, it's pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. And well, you shouldn't do it. Well, there's but if the spirit behind the joke is because you want to bring something out, you want to entertain, it's funny, it gets people thinking in a different way, it expands the dialogue, then it's funny. A few years back when AIDS hit, uh, I, uh, I'm not going to sneeze. Hold on a second. Uh, when Bless AIDS you. hit, uh, what is that? What was that? What is what? Anyway, when AIDS hit, I had comedians coming in and doing AIDS jokes. And one night I was watching TV and I saw an AIDS patient because it was brand new. It was a whole new thing. And I said, there's nothing funny about that. And the next day I went back in and any comedian who was on, I said, I have a new rule, no AIDS jokes. And they said, well, why? I said, the only reason it seems to be funny to you is because gay people get it. Mm -hmm. I said, but if you ever look at a gay person who's got AIDS, it ain't funny. And that was yeah. before. And that was came. before anybody thought about doing exactly. that. Exactly. I, I told people not to do it. And the comedians finally saw my way because I said, the only reason you're making fun of AIDS is because it's a gay thing and you're making fun of the gayness of it. And it's not a joke. I said, did, did, it's just not funny. Did you ever hear Buddy, Buddy Hackett's routine yeah. about whether or not the word ass or gun is, uh, is bad? This whole, ru whole I, routine. I heard, I seem to vaguely remember something like that. It was, it was basically, you know, to someone who was upset that he was swearing on the stage and he'd bring it up. And he, the, the short version is, guy with, with his gnarled hands around a gun pointing at your head. Is that a horrible, scary thing? Yeah. Same guy, gun up his ass. Do you care? <laughs> <laughs> That's the short version. But <laughs> That's, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, it was the old, it was the old story about uh, 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 that Lenny Bruce used to do about uh, if you're doing a movie and the woman, a guy comes along and uh, takes a pillow and smothers a woman to death with it, that's okay in movies. But if you put it under her ass, <laughs> that's a shitty thing to do. You know, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, you'll smother her ass. Uh, no, but I mean, hi, Jeff. How are you? Hi, Jeff. Jeff's joining Jeff, us. Jeff, the day. We, we wow. usually had get together every now and then with Jeff and his wife. We either go up to Connecticut or take them down here. We haven't seen them in six months, seven Alex, months. Alex, we haven't seen anybody since March 11th. I haven't seen you since March 11th. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you been here? I don't know. What are you wearing my hat for? Because I wanted to cover my head. Yeah. That's the who one I need to that wear hat? on the air. Who bought you that hat? You bought me that hat at the uh, tennis thing. U.S. The, Open. The former U.S. Open, yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, no, I thought, I think a lot of people have done interesting jobs of getting through this whole COVID and being a, you know, like I was mentioning, uh, America's Got Talent. They've done a real good job of it. They, they did a the, great they, job. They had the panels all over the place of nothing but audience. So, and they, they all applaud. And like cheer. a gigantic Zoom of it's 100 like, people. Well, it's, they probably did like a thing with Zoom where they bought a thousand streams. And, streams yeah. and they have them on these screens and they keep moving them back and forth around the screens and so on. They're great. And, and it's really cool. But then there are people who do it badly who've adapted to this badly. And, and last night was a perfect example of that. The Emmy people were just, it was just idiotic. To begin with, you don't try to do something funny if there's not an audience there to laugh, you know, because it just comes off flat. And a fire yet. Yeah, I mean, give, give the awards, that's fine. They gave them away pretty well. They did a nice job of it, you know, and leave it at that, you know, not that- well, it, I didn't watch it, but they tried. I mean, I don't know. Well, I think, I think the, the best thing about the Emmys last night was at least on four occasions, the word shit 
made it to the airwaves. <laughs> Uh, they didn't hesitate in calling it Shit's Creek, did they? I don't. Again, I didn't watch it, but I don't think so. Yeah. Well, this, this morning on Good Morning America, they had them on, and they were not allowed to say it. Really? Yep. They won the award for. Yeah. Lee with the lead Creek. with the lead character Creek. Roland Shits and Jocelyn Shits. Yeah. <laughs> I watched the show. I watched the show. Um, we watched three episodes of the show today because I downloaded the whole series. And um, you're right, Shecky, it is funny. Mm -hmm. but, it also yeah, takes, but it's the it's same funny, old, same old. I mean, it's like, it gets it, better. Yeah, it gets it, better it, too. It, it, it gets better. Yeah, it took me like four or five episodes before I was totally convinced. And I thought this last season was not their best season by any means. I thought the season before this was, but it just built, it got much better from the beginning. And, and how many six. seasons? I'm only in episode three. Six. Six I think there are six. Six years? Six. But like oh. Daniel Levy, sure. I have to go back. I don't think they played him as gay in season one. Right, not as gay, certainly. Yeah. Is that the son? Is that yeah. the son? Yeah. yeah. The son. Yeah. Well, he Where played, he by kind of season of... four, five, six, that became the big part of the show. Yeah, yeah. but he, he's playing gay in the first show. Well, he's playing gay, but, but he didn't have a boyfriend. But, no, or... but my question is, is he gay? Yes, he is. Okay, oh, yeah. and that's the reason why he was so gay, even without saying he was gay on the show. Yeah, oh, no, he's a very out gay gentleman. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. The, show, the, show is given, and the show is really given solace. Time because I'm, every gay friend I have I mean, loves the show. I mean, they really, you know, it means a lot. I think, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Catherine O'Hara. Catherine O'Hara. Genius. She's a, she's, a, she's a, yeah. a gem. I mean, well, there she, isn't she anything was. that she's done bad. I mean, no. you know. Yeah. But you know, know the thing, Chris Kelly does not like the show. He's like, I've never watched the show. Uh, who, uh, who, uh, who, uh, Chris, Chris Elliott Ellie. never watched it? No, because I said after season five, I said that season was great and you were great. Chris, I've never seen it. <laughs> really? It's, yeah. It's, it's so funny because I know so many young people who watch it and none of them. Have ever heard of SCTV? So they no, but that's oh, yeah. You know, it's, 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 you know, I was so thrilled to see Eugene and Catherine O'Hara back yeah. together. You know, doing a show. Yeah, so those guys made a movie back years ago called Going Berserk. Yeah, there was. Well, they also made so um, well, best the best they in also show. Made looking uh, for for like, the one looking for Guffman was that waiting for Guffman. Guffman um, yeah, they, and waiting for Guffman, and they also yeah, they the also did about the dogs. Show about the dogs. They did yeah, four year the they did four year the best, consideration best in show or something like that. Yeah, and you Mighty did. Wind. I mean, all those hilarious. Oh, Christopher Guest. She did for a four year consideration, and I believe yes. she was nominated for an yeah. Academy Award for that. Mm. So yeah. No, Gene Levy, sweetheart of a man, and really was always the backbone of ST, SCTV, but you never really realized it. Right. Right. And Bobby, and then oh, or, <laughs> you know, the other guys. Right. Right. Um, so, anyway. So, Alex, are you proud that we live in an anarchist jurisdiction? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait a minute, what, what's that? Oh, yes. oh, yes. We're being defunded by Donald Trump. The Department of Justice said New York City and Portland and Seattle are now officially anarchist jurisdictions. Oh my God. And we're not going to uh, let, let me get this straight. Land of sedition. Is this what anarchy looks like? It's <laughs> unbelievable, right? <laughs> so no funding. So now Cuomo and de Blasio have to sue the federal government. He's sending in the troops. What is anarchy? Less than your quota of... of uh, I have of no idea, but but you know. I think anti-Trump equals anarchy. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just you know I could see a lot if you wanted to say, oh, hey, there's anarchy going on in uh, in in Chicago because there's a lot of killings and it's a lot it's kind of unruly. Uh, uh, maybe you could make a minor argument for that, although I don't think the government knows what anarchy is actually. If they want to know what anarchy is, I'll show them. Okay. Even, even even that's hard to prove. Look at a look at a map mm -hmm. of the crime in Chicago, mm -hmm. and what a tiny little place all that crime is happening. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it's because there there's to be a, a, a difference Portland, in the level Portland of melanin. Is two, is two yeah. square blocks. 
Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, but I mean, I don't understand how they say it's anarchy. You know, I mean, uh, I, I see, I, I it can be honest with you for years. I, I believed in anarchy. I, I. Stop. Um, <laughs> hey, I could stop it here. <laughs> I, I stopped it here. Yeah, they're all connected. Maybe the chicken's ready. <laughs> There's a command, Alex, where yeah. you go on there and you say announce, and all of them say whatever you're saying throughout the whole house. Oh, really? I've, I've, I've done that when we've had guests just to be a jerk. Really? You just say, <laughs> I'll be in my office where I have one, and I'll say announce and say something. What do you say? You, the say whole house. you say announce, and then you say what you have to say, right? Yeah, if you, depending on the name you have, like whether it's the A or the E. Echo, announce. You got to say something. Help. I just want to say, how are you, Marjorie? Can you hear me on the echo? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. <laughs> she answered that. I think I think we just armed a weapon. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> You, you you know I, there is a thing you can do where you can I've got it where if I whisper a command to Echo like you know tell me what the time is she will whisper it back. Yes, she does it. <laughs> nice. These little Echo tricks, folks. Yeah, cool. mine's, mine's tied to the to sensors outside my house in case there's a visitor in the driveway, and I'll be in the middle of a meeting and it'll say there's motion at your front door and because I, I forgot to turn the damn thing down. Mm -hmm. Alex, do the whisper. No, I can't. They, they wouldn't be able to hear it. Oh, no. but it's cute. It really is. It really is. It, it, it does whisper back at you. you know. How did you discover that? Like what if I whisper it? at it, like, for instance, if I go, echo, I see it doesn't hear me, though. But I want to know why you, why you decided to do that the first time. I read about it. It's sexy talk. Echo. <laughs> echo. Echo. Doesn't hear me. Let, let me try. Echo. Echo. What time is it? Oh, wait a minute. I got to turn it up here more. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get this right. Watch this. Watch this. Here we go. Echo. Echo. What time is it? Did you hear a whisper? Barely. Did you hear it? Yeah. This is what COVID is done. Nine people listening to Alex whispering. <laughs> listening. Not only that, but listening to find out what time it is. <laughs> we get a fix of intellectual conversation here. Here's the, the end of show business as we know it. Well, back to anarchy. <laughs> uh, no, the, the reason UK? I've always been kind of an anarchist is I believe that in an anarchist society, in order for that society to function, everybody has to work in conjunction with everybody else. Everybody has to be in sync with everybody else. And you don't make laws to tell people right and wrong. People know what's right and wrong. Okay? And that's what I like about anarchy. I shouldn't have to... We, ideally, you shouldn't have to have a uh, stoplight at a corner. Everybody should go, oh, well, you go. You know, oh, yeah. 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 we have so Imagine many. New York City. Oh, you go. Yeah. In the <laughs> town of you say oh, York. in my neighborhood, <laughs> where I wave to the guy, at, you know, when I'm at the stuck the corner, like, yeah, you go. But people in Manhattan don't do that. That's right. In the That's town of La Plata. Well, in California, in California, I used to call California the go, no, you go state. <laughs> <laughs> because you come to an intersection with no light, just with stop signs, and everybody's going, you go. No, you go. No, no you but that's go. what I do in my neighborhood. I just do that way, you know, like, go, you know. Yeah. In they say in uh, the Argentina, there's no traffic signals nor stop signs. Yeah. It's a nightmare. You, you're in terror driving around through town. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but, uh, but, but what goes on in New York now, with these guys on dirt bikes, and they just run red lights, and kill people so they so they they're going to defund us what are they going to defund seven billion dollars or something no federal funds what? they're going to turn off this oh, show oh, oh cuomo's going to have something about to say about this he already has he already, he already has. oh is he when? on this morning i didn't hear him this morning but i read a 
Facebook, uh, you know, a paragraph saying. Basically, what did he say? Go he fuck said, we'll yourself. Them, and we'll win. Huh? The yeah. federal government and we'll get our money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and but, then um, de Blasio said, oh, I'm taking that um, vacation week. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take a vacation week? Oh, you didn't see that? No. no. He f he's furloughing like a hundred people at City Hall, which will save us a million dollars, including himself. Hmm. Why does he furlough himself for the rest of his term? If, I, I, I'd be pretty well, happy. Well, because someone will find the money his wife stole. How did he know? get reelected? Was the guy running against him? Nobody people? votes. No that's votes. true. He's absolutely right. And that's how Trump's going to get reelected. You know, and Democrats. I joke, I voted for that woman from Staten Island for mayor, and I don't even know her name. <laughs> and I've never voted Republican in my lifetime, but, you know. Anybody but de Blasio. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, but, you know, what's, 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 what's his name? His name? The well, guy that was a congressman that got caught with his dick on the line. Oh, what was sure. his name? Oh, a uh, wiener. Wiener. How wiener. wiener. How could you not know that name? Wiener. Yeah. <laughs> Wiener's Wiener. Two times. What are, what are the chances that a guy named Wiener would expose himself? You know. Well, now he's making like kitchen cabinets or something. Is he, really? Is he really? But didn't he get? It, didn't he get caught two times? Yeah. Like, you know. I mean, they what, what got the What did you, you say, Brian? Oh, I said, didn't he get caught like two times doing something like that? Well, what yeah. happened was he got caught. He did uh -huh. a big mea culpa. Then he uh, decided right, right. to run for mayor. He was in the lead, wasn't he, Shecky, at one point? Yeah, he was, he was in the lead, yes. He was, he was still lead, married. He and was all of a sudden married. he showed his dick again to somebody. But also, wasn't it an <laughs> underage girl, maybe? Maybe I'm wrong on that. I think it was an underage girl. I think it was, yeah. 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 You know, she, when he was... She left um, and they like, got divorced. Over or something, yeah. whatever. It was, it was online. He didn't know she was underage. Oh yeah. Okay. And what? And his wife was uh, what's her name? Uh, Uma. 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 That was um. Um. Yeah. Uma. Hillary Clinton's, Clinton. Clinton's at number one aide. Yeah. Yeah. Is she still her number one aide? Or I'm sure she is. If not, she's probably working for the Clinton Foundation. Yeah. I mean, she yeah, liked Uma like... Abedin or something like that. I can't remember yeah. if that's name. Yeah. There were always rumors of a Hillary Uma relationship. Exactly. That's why yeah. I kind of was dancing around that. But so, yeah. Charlie, how's everything in Texas? <laughs> oh, we're still here. Are you still there? <laughs> yeah. How how are the deaths doing? <laughs> well, supposedly uh, they've dropped way off. I say supposedly because I don't trust them. Oh, because you you say they're they're fudging the numbers in Texas. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think big time. Well, because we were hoping you were going to put us over the top. <laughs> We probably are. You know, we were going to hit that two hundred thousand, and it slowed down a little bit. We're still like four hundred away from. No, we're over. We're over two hundred. We, we hit two hundred thousand. What? No, but so, uh, other people are claiming we're at one ninety nine point, you know, nine two two. So we're not over two hundred thousand yet. You know. Yeah. The Republicans are saying that, and the Democrats are, oh, we're over. You know, come on. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, I went. I went out today. A lot of people. A lot of people today were, were actually wearing their masks. I was amazed. Of course, I went in a different direction, uh, but the direction I went, they were they were pretty good about the mask wearing. The only Seems problem with masks are when I do go out for a walk, I start getting lightheaded. Me too. From wearing the yeah. from wearing no, I don't the mask, like right? It, but I do. Hmm? You know, I don't like it, but I do it. It's you know, a little better now that it's cool. What I do is yeah. I, if I look down the street and there's nobody down the street, I'll lower the mask, okay? Because there's no reason to have it up. But the minute somebody comes by, I put it up. But yesterday I did it, and I was I always had it on all the time. I pulled it down, and I smelled flowers. It was so <laughs> nice to, because <laughs> the smell of flowers doesn't come through those masks. That's so sweet. Yeah. The mask is working. Yeah. Did you know yeah. that? Fox News reported a couple of days ago, Wynn Resorts in Las Vegas, where the rally was. Yeah. 548 of their employees have tested positive for COVID. Wow. And that wow. was on Fox Business. And wow. was that as a result of the, the, know, ra the rally? Don't know. I mean, it's pretty Don't obvious rally. to people who believe in science, but <laughs> either way, yeah. either way, it's an irresponsible company. Look who's yep. here. Oh, look, there's, there's <laughs> Adrian. Hello, Adrian. How are you? Hi, Adrian. How are you? We're all waving at you. I'm at lunch. 
<laughs> what did she say? I had lunch. You had lunch. You had lunch. Had lunch. What did, you, lunch right what, now. what did you have? What did you have for lunch? She's not hungry. She eats after usually. But they have, yeah, so they have a lunch break right now. So she has to go back now. She just wanted to say hi. Well, they actually hi. Have, is, they have a, is it a virtual hi. lunch break? Yeah, virtual lunch break, yeah. <laughs> okay. Say bye. 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 No, don't take bye. that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she is such a ham. She is a ham. She's yeah. so cute. She's adorable. She's adorable. Um, so, did you see Trump's planning a prime time special this weekend to announce his Supreme Court nomination? A prime time special. It'll be this week. He's not going to wait for the Trump weekend. And no, it's first year Saturday. Friday. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when you run out of money for your campaign, you have to cheat so you can get free airtime. Right, because yeah. apparently you're paying donations. It's going to be this horrible pro-life woman, whatever her name is. Right? The one yeah. from Florida, yeah. yeah. The one from Florida. She's only like 48, so she'll be there forever. Forever. Well, here's what, yeah. here's what the, let's say they get somebody through. Let's just say they do. Uh, according to what I hear is, all Biden has to do if we- Oh, he'll the, pack the Supreme Court. Yeah. He'll yeah. increase it. If we get a Senate that's Democratic, yep, all that he has too. to do is say, is I want to propose that we add two more members to the Supreme Court. They will then okay it because that's all they have to do. And of course, all yep. they have to do is have a simple majority. And uh, he can then appoint two. Right, because I think maybe yeah. I said it to you the other day, nine justices didn't come until the 1860s. Before yeah. that, it was a lower number. So oh, that's really? not a number that came from the 1790s. So he can add Barack when, Obama when, 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 and America. When, when, when did you say it was a lower number, Shecky? It originally, I think it was five. Five when? Prior to when? So like in the 1790s, and it became seven, then I think eight, and then eventually became nine, like in the 1860s. I wonder what, what yeah, the all reason the is yeah. behind that. All the Constitution yeah. says, right, is that Congress It's not in the Constitution that it has to be nine. Right, it just, says, it just, it just says, says there is a Supreme number. Court. And that's all Doesn't Biden say how many people. do. But, you know, I mean, what I think is so terrible is that the whole thing even becomes political. You know, that the idea of the Supreme Court was kind of this neutral body Yep. That made decisions based entirely on the Constitution. Right. And, but the uh, world changed, you know? Well, I mean. Does, it, does, what, does the Constitution say that they're on there for life? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, appointed for life. The point they are? Life. Because that is. Yeah, I think I that's in so. the Constitution. That, that was a bad idea. That's Probably at the, time, idea. at the time it was a good idea because life only went to 45. Give them a dozen <laughs> years or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, give them a dozen. Give them and have them rotate it out. But, you know, they should, yeah, they should rotate out. You, you know, they made it life so that they wouldn't have to satisfy, they had complete political well, freedom. They could right. many presidents. Exactly. Exactly. Like to hold in to someone. Exactly. If they had a now, yes. what has happened? I'll tell you what has happened over the years. Um, and uh, I take great pride in this program that we don't get terribly political. Uh, we just have a lot of fun. Uh, but this is worth talking about. Uh, yeah, but it's not a contentious discussion. It's not a contentious discussion. It's a discussion. The, <laughs> the, um, uh, the fact is that, that, you know, and now I forgot what I was going to say. Same <laughs> court. I rest my case. What? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, um, hmm. No, I was thinking about nominated for life. <laughs> nominated for life. I was just not a political, not a political discussion. Well, <laughs> I mean, what I, what you know, somehow. Oh, here's here's what I was going to say. I know that they do sometimes appoint somebody because saying, "Oh, I I put a conservative in there. And we're going to have a conservative justice and blah 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 blah." And then all of a sudden, that justice turns, turns out to be the biggest nightmare for the Republicans. And well, they Earl did the Warren, right thing. Earl Warren was a perfect example of that. They put him in there because he was a conservative, and by the time he was through, the John Birch Society wanted to kill him. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's that's how liberal he became. And the same as kind of Roberts is being a disappointment. Roberts, yeah. 
You know, said a lot of things. And even, yeah. even Gorsuch surprised people with that one of the last decisions. He's taking the job seriously. As he should. Or constitution and making decisions based on the constitution. Well, that's all they're supposed to be doing. Right. You know, they're, I heard, they're not I heard there, a story they're not that, there to make case law. They're there to uh, interpret. interpret what already is law and whether you can do this or that under the Constitution. There's, there's an argument, Alex, that their, their fear, the Supreme Court justice members' fear of a Trump have pushed them to the left to try, to try not to leave his permanent impact on the country. Yeah. Not Clarence Thomas. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> he, he's still well, trying to clean the hairs off his Coke can. Oh, you know. What 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 did you say? No, I said his wife wants the job with Donald, whatever she's doing for the Trump administration. Right. Clarence Thomas' wife. Right. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Like Mitch McConnell's wife, you know, she's yeah. the Secretary of Transportation. Transportation. Yeah. Mitch McConnell. Wow, what a piece of work that guy is. Yeah. I, you know, I, I just, I don't understand these people. They wake up in the morning and say, what am I going to do to piss people off today or to make lives? Well, fuck this country over. Today? You know, in, interestingly, Alex, they finally found a message that's resonating with Cuban descendants in Miami. They're saying, you guys know what a dictator looks like, don't yeah. you? Mm -hmm. And it's really resonating. They're looking, they're taking away really? the names of the par party and going, oh, yeah. Wow. It's starting to work. And that's what well, Bloomberg, I think, is going to be spending his money proving. Wow. We'll, we'll know in November. Yeah, but I, I, that's really the message. The same as the message to the Bernie kids that didn't show up to vote. Yeah. Right. If you it, want it, states to it, have oh, a Bernie-type no. candidate in four years, and you want a free election, you, you have to come out and protect that, Yeah. whether you like the candidate or not. Well, I, you know, I, 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 quite frankly, I'm, I'm very happy with Biden in that I think he's handling himself well. I do too. He has. I, I think he's he's tempering everything he says. He's not being doesn't sound like he's a rabble rouser or anything like that. He's just talking about, hey, this is what America is. This is what we want America to be. But since I'm an anarchist, I'm gonna go out and burn a building right after we're through here. Because I haven't <laughs> had my quote of the day yet. You get extra well, anarchist but, points if it's a government building, by the way. Oh, okay. But, but the look, I'll send you the scorecard. Young okay. girls who are from, you know, multi-million dollar homes who are busy trying to burn down the country. Oh, we're going to, you know, you remember that from the 70s, Ben. Yeah. You know, same thing. You know, these young, I'm using women, but, you know, and then they get arrested for throwing Molotov cocktails or something. They, they had a guy get up in front of uh, the, the, the congressional committee. And I don't know whether it was the Senate or whether it was the House of Representatives, but he was from Homeland Security. And he said, Antifa is not a movement. Yep. It's an ideology. There is no such movement as Antifa in this country. However, we are worried about the white supremacists. Yeah. He said yeah. they pose a real threat to the country. Right wingers can't win without a boogeyman. Well, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, I. You know, if you if you all you heard was Trump and all you watched was Fox or Newsmax or the OAN, you would be scared shitless. And I say that S C H I T T less. Uh, <laughs> you would be scared shitless. And so these people who only use those as their sources of information, man, I'm, I'm sure they're getting they're getting frightened. You know, they're getting real frightened. And, and and when I listen to Trump, if I just listened to him, I'd be frightened too. You know, because I'm being but, told okay, by the president of the United States. He's a crime boss. Huh? He's a crime boss. Oh, that's that's fine. And we know that. But the point I'm making is, is that to these people, you know, you're raised, we, were, we were all raised to believe the president of the United States is the leader of the land and we have to be loyal to our president right yeah well we as we got older we got smarter and we realized that that wasn't really the way to live our lives that presidents are fallible just like anybody else but there's still are those people out there who believe the president is the leader and we must do what he says and so when he gets up and he says there's antifa 
all of a sudden there is Antifa, you know? Yeah. And, and um, they're going to take our guns away from us. <clears throat> yeah. but, Ob but, you know, Obama was their president as well, and they listened to him and hated him. But he had a dark skin. You know? right. so it's, but, but it's not just respect for the office, right? And, you know, it's, it's a personality that appeals to them. Yeah. But they aren't even, are you ready for this? They're not even um, um, uh, smart enough to know that the president, when he says, if you vote for Joe Biden, there's going to be rioting in the streets. <laughs> well, you voted for Donald Trump, and there's rioting, rioting in the streets. Okay, so who, who is he to complain that, is, what, better rioting than, than under Trump? I don't get it. Well, no, not their people. Well, you know, the other people will be rioting, you know. Yeah. The, the bad people. <laughs> the ones we during, don't like. During the Iraq conflict, they created that deck of cards, and each card, the ace of spades, was one. They, they hired a marketing firm to come up with a deck of cards for Antifa. So far, they just got a box. <laughs> <laughs> nothing in it. They can't but name them one. I can name, you can name the head of the Taliban, Hezbollah, Name, name the head of Antifa. If they're so, such a powerful terrorist group and you've got such brilliant, All brilliant right. okay. investigators. All right, listen, I'm tired of the argument. Yep. I have to admit Who, it. Who's arguing? I am the leader, <laughs> I am the leader of Antifa. No, I am. Uh, no, I am. I, 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 I'm not going to argue with you, Alex. I've done before you. Okay. I'm Spartacus. And I am Q. <laughs> I'm both, damn it. No, but I, I, and also, just in case you, you want to stop the argument, I killed Kennedy. Okay? All right? So let's. I knew you did. No, I knew that. When the day I, you met me, you said, there's the guy who killed Kennedy. I, I, I shot guy. Lincoln. You shot Lincoln? <laughs> so listen, we're. I was on I've Got a Secret. That was my secret. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. You were on. I, were you on? I've got a secret now. And I am Kaiser Sosa, by the way. Yeah. Ah. My Ronnie, my wife, was on. Uh, I've got a secret. Oh, really? As a fake. The as, original or the syndicated? Show? As a new dancer from from old Calcutta, but she was, of course, the fake new dancer from old Calcutta. Well, she, that was to tell the truth. That was to tell the truth. What? That was to, to tell, tell the truth. truth. Oh, to tell the yeah. truth, excuse me, was yeah. to tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah. So if you ever come up against an episode of To Tell the Truth with the new dance, Ronnie's from there. Old Canada, <laughs> it's Ronnie. It's well, what, does it Ronnie. Mean, what does it mean when you lie about to tell the truth, Alex? I'm confused. <laughs> to show you what a bad husband I was when I watched the show, I didn't realize she wasn't the new dancer. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. Huh? Do you know who the host, the host of the pilot was for To Tell the Truth? To Tell the Truth? The host? The pilot. Oh, he well, didn't get he, the job. Was he an actor? No. Comedian? Nope. Well, let's flip all the cards and tell us. Okay. <laughs> was Mike, Wallace. Wallace? Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace? Oh, he oh got God. Every job. He, uh, you, you got, I'm sure in your... In your I've got it. You've, I've got the episode. Well, you've so. also probably got uh, the uh, the uh, episode. And it actually is on YouTube. Comedy Hour, where he's selling Ajax or whatever. You know? Mike Wallace. Oh, yeah. yeah, Mike oh, Wallace. Colgate was, Comedy Hour. He he was he, he, Mike Wallace was a broadcaster, basically. A well, he had the person. Mike and Buff show. Him and yeah, the, he, he did radio. He did TV. He did TV commercials. He hosted the Colgate Comedy Hour, and you know, did all the pitches on it. Uh, and then w when uh, one day he came up with this thing of doing the Mike Wallace interviews. Yeah. And all he was doing was playing another character with that. I mean, he just, you know. And you know, he was you. on Information, Please, in 1939. Really? Myron Wallace as, I think it was like the number one student <clears throat> at, at the University of Chicago. I, yes, I, I seem to remember hearing about that. Yeah. 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 Byron Wallace. But anyway, he, uh, so, I mean, he then did these interview shows and he just was a contentious interviewer. It was yeah. like, uh, so-and-so, uh, you won the Pulitzer Prize, you won the Humanitarian Award five years in a row. When is it you first decided to be a communist? <laughs> yeah, that was the kind of interview he would do. So, it was on um, <laughs> Nightbeat was the show. Nightbeat. And he was so controversial... He lost all his sponsors, 
lost the job. And he was in the toilet for several years. He went over and did, uh, what was it, um, um, biography. That was also in 58, 57. Yeah, he did 50. biography. And that got to be kind of popular, and he got kind of a reputation. And then all of a sudden, they hired him over, over at CBS to do That was a David minutes. Walper show biography. Yeah, but they, they hired him to do 60 Minutes. When did yeah. they start that, 60 Minutes? What year? Oh, 67 that, or 68. Yeah, a long time ago, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it was it, like Dick Wallace, Harry Reisner, and I'm going up on who the that third took person his, was. That took his career out of the toilet. Mm. Yeah. You know, and uh, the, all of a sudden, he thought of Mike night, Wallace. It was the 48th season. Is, is it really? No, listen, it, was the, it was the premiere of the new season. No, it's a 52nd, I think, something like that. No, it was 67, 68, so that would be. 52 years, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know. Um, I think it was Mike Wallace, Harry Reasoner, and maybe it was Morley Safer. Marjorie though, said but, to me, isn't that the longest lasting television show ever? And I no, said, meet no, the press. Meet the press. Meet the press. Right? When they had Move press. On. When they actually met the press, they would have. <laughs> when they, went, they went back on television to 48, but they were on the radio before that. Yes, but I'm talking about TV. No, uh, but on TV, it went on in 48. 48. And Meet it, the press? The, 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 yeah. the way it got its name was they had a panel of members of the press. No, it was a panel press. of people from the press. And then they had a host. And the host was, the host was a woman whose name I can't uh, remember. Uh, uh, yes, the woman who, who created the show. Uh, yeah. And I'm trying to remember her name now. Oh, God, I used to know it too. But anyway, she was the host. And then they would have somebody like, you know, a senator or whatever, and they would sit there and then and they the would, press would interview, interview them. You know, they would throw questions at Senator Kafava or whomever. It was you know. kind of it was kind of like a press conference. What it really amounted basically, to. basically, yeah. You only yeah. had four reporters there, and that's why it was called Meet the Press. Last week, last Sunday, I watched Meet the Press, and they didn't go to the press once. That's right. They haven't gone no, to the I press in years. <laughs> I said to her, I said, wait a minute, they've eliminated the press altogether on this oh, show? Oh, basically, now? yes. For yeah. years. It's Martha Roundtree. You know, Super Bowl week. Martha Roundtree. Super Bowl. It's, hey, it's football. I meet the press, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, think, uh, um, I think she uh, did it until Tim Russert, right? Roundtree. Yeah, and I used to that. No, there was somebody, I used to no, call Lauren, no, Lauren Russert. Spivak. Yeah. What Lauren were you Spivak. They did it for like 30 or 40 years, yeah. and, you know, <laughs> yeah. a woman. Yeah. Ned Brooks also. But Martha Roundtree invented the show. She came up with it. I think that's, yeah, I think Martha, that was her name, yeah. And I don't know what she did before then. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, and then I don't know what she did after she left Meet the Press. Maybe turn tricks or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get a game show. Dorothy Kilgallen oh, had the role. So, Len, so. how's life in your part of the world? Mm. You know, it's it's a little bit more normal. The the sky is actually blue now when it was brown for four weeks. Yeah. Wow. Um, it's uh, it's good. It's better. Things are starting to open up a little bit. Yeah. But you know, still no indoor dining. Uh, you know, uh, I don't think you can get a haircut yet. But you know, we're we're getting better. But what was bizarre was no indoor dining because of COVID. But then you couldn't eat outdoors either because of the smoke. Yeah. Right. Exactly. exactly. And it was 100 degrees the days, the week before that, too. Uh. Right. Right. Now, but uh, the fires started going away? There, there's still like several thousand of them burning throughout the state, mostly in Oregon. Uh -huh. But it the just, smoke direction has changed more toward the east instead of. So it's, it's gotten better. And uh, yeah. it. Yeah, a little bit, but it depends on the air, the air breeze. So it was staying in the valley for a long time. And then like last Tuesday, it finally blew out up towards like Lake Tahoe. Yeah. But now it's starting to circulate a little bit back down a little bit more. Well, it, it, was, it, was, it was so bad, uh, how bad it was it? This, that we actually now. got the smoke here in New York, yeah. right? It went, it went all the way to Europe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You know. Yeah, it was really bad here. 
Yeah, they just announced they're going to have uh, virtual schools until at least till the beginning of the year. So they're going to do all through the rest of the year. Yeah. Virtual. So they keep trying to open up our schools here in New York, and they keep yeah. failing at it. Because they're not ready. Not have a have. moron running our school system. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, the uh, COVID rate for children and, and teenagers has skyrocketed since they opened the schools up. Wow. Well, what near NYU, what like, you know, why, what, what is so wrong with just saying, look, let's just nail, hold on, say my shirt is hiking up on me. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is so wrong with just saying, Let's just close everything down for a month. Everybody stay indoors for a month. We can we can tamp this thing down. But they did that in in April and into May, and it didn't help. Well, it they didn't do it everywhere. It worked. It worked in New they York. did it here, and it worked. I mean, we because, took it. You, know, you can only do because, it with you can only do it with compliance, and people are idiots and they're unwilling to comply. Yeah. And now also, also, yeah. Also, you need to give money to the businesses that need it, and all that money. Yeah. All how many how many times have they done it already? And they're going to these billionaire people, Trump's yeah. buddies, and everybody yeah. else, and they won't even give the list out where that money's going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sad the sad part from an economic standpoint is once it's assured that Trump will lose, mm -hmm. they're going to sabotage the economy to make Biden look even worse when he takes over. Well, first so, of all, he's not going to be able to put everything back together in four years. Nobody but can. He could get no? started in the right direction. I mean, we have no friends anymore. No one wants to be a part of us. Yeah, yeah but you know, when, when Obama took office, if you took out the years where he was still fighting the economy from before, before policy went in place, he had even a more stellar mm -hmm. record than, than shows. Yeah. But the unemployment kept getting worse under his first year, which is the remnants of the previous economic policy yep. before exactly his well you, you know you, anything you say you, you, the new president oh look look what i did you know trump tried to t say that the economy had gotten better under him no it had started getting better under under obama and it was just simply a trajectory that was exactly going on. and oh. you got to give credit to the last administration as well for having started the the move upward yeah the first well, four today, years of the first four years of any presidency i am convinced is the legacy of the prior administration, period. At least the first two yeah. of them. The yeah. stock market took a dive today. It was down at 1.8900 points. And the pundits on TV were saying, see, Wall Street's afraid that Biden might win. No. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's why it went down. I don't either. I think it you're, went not, down you're not a pundit on right-wing TV. And can I say something? And I, We don't often get that political here. And that's what I like about these Monday get-togethers. Me too. Which I might make a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday get-together and just forget the nighttime show. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, but Dude, i got to block off all my time and my work now. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm up for it. Doing half night. But, 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 uh, I got to say this about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I mean, this was a great person. You know, this was a great lady who, who forget about her time on the Supreme Court. I think that was an anticlimax. The rest of her career was stellar. Absolutely. And what she did and what she accomplished and what she accomplished for women in this country. Uh, she was, uh, and, she, and she was a decent, fine human being. And the fact that the minute she dies, Here demonizing her they haven't even pulled the replacement they names. Pulled up the van to take her body away exactly okay. and the ghouls come out the ghouls are already out there mitch mcconnell yeah. is already making a pronouncement i in fact i got the news here at like about a quarter of eight in the evening and by the time i went on the air mitch mcconnell already was was like going crazy wow. and I'm, I'm just going you know, have some respect for this woman's life first. And let's take care of this, you know? I mean, come on, the Jews bury their people within two days, so she's undoubtedly buried already, but McConnell was faster than that. No, she's, she's going to be at the... She's not. She's going to lie in state. She's going to be in a state. casket up there yeah. for a couple of days, we, yeah. We Jews don't we'll do that. No, I know. I was surprised by that, too. Yeah, here's, here's a surprise for you, Alex. Rush Limbaugh announced that the Supreme Court nomination should skip any Judiciary Committee hearings and just go for a vote. Yeah. Well, they just don't use it. Yeah. Well, well Trump I won. agree with him to this extent. To help Biden and that win. is that in this particular case, any hearings they have is going to, as Charlie said, be an illusion. 
you know, uh, that's why we want to prevent it from happening at all. All right. Uh, but uh, I, I just think that in just the, the sense of justice and people's votes counting and so on, just, forget about this. This is a business that can be done right after the first, first of the year, you know. Um, yeah, if you're so could, confident he's going to win, he should be able to relax and wait till after the election. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can be assured that his nominee is going to do a brilliant job. Everyone knows Ivanka's qualified. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, Jared. Well, there is a rumor he's going to try and put Stormy Daniels in that job, but it's just a, it's just a rumor. No, okay. she's a poor judge of character. You're right. You're right. She doesn't know how to she judge. Couldn't, she couldn't have hung on for one for a hundred more days. I don't know. Of course. Yeah. There's, and then, yeah, this poor woman who's been dying for a year or two and couldn't give up her job. Right. I mean, maybe she, yeah. loved, she wouldn't have anyway because she loved it, but no, but she, yeah, that should have been her decision to make. Well, woman, she stuck no. in there because she didn't want to do, you know, she didn't. She, want didn't. she wanted Are, another president to be there. I, I, had, I had read that um, Obama yeah. actually talked to her about retiring, but she yeah. wouldn't because, you know, they saw, I mean, obviously this could have happened. This was, you know, what did happen was not that hard to foresee. And he tried to get her to retire when he could appoint somebody. Yeah, but I mean, right. I, I just find this whole ghoulish thing that's going on just, it, it's just, it, it, it's bad for her memory. Absolutely. You know, if you, if, you, if you think that Trump's going to win, then wait. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter whether it's next week or after the election. If you think that Trump is going to win, that your boy then is going to win. he has four years to nominate someone. Okay. And if yeah. he nominates her somebody before she's in the ground, that is shameful. It's terrible. Yeah. Well, I, 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 however, I hear he is not going to, if he appoints somebody to the Supreme Court, they're going to be acting justice. <laughs> Just like those other appointees are acting. Everybody um, else. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe he'll nominate Merrick Garland. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> He's going to nominate Barack Obama just to make America great yeah, and, again. And it, uh, they're, they're, they're trying to make the argument now, well, no, it, I only meant it was because you, we didn't have the Democrats in the Senate. Oh, that thing. Yeah, well, well, you know, the president's Republican and the senator's Republican. Oh, okay, we can do it. When when he had, when Obama yeah. tried to make that appointment was in February, okay? Yeah. And he wasn't rerunning for office either, you know? Nope. So the, if, there was no reason not to honor his request. All right, but they didn't. The you reason know, was they could. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. The reason was. All I'm saying is, I just wanted to say you know, on her behalf that she's such a, a a great woman, and to have her uh, legacy be this ugly, horrible fight that's going on is terrible. With, within hours. Within huh? hours. Within yeah. Hours. Yeah. Terrible. You know. Um, there should be the uh, room temperature uh, rule. If yeah. you reach his room temperature, you can't. <laughs> oh boy, you know we, we live in we live in ridiculous times. Yes, we know? do. Uh, there's the coronavirus. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. There's the hurricanes. Uh, there's the forest fires. Uh, what else do we have? Then we have the orange, the orange menace. <laughs> yeah, the, well, we the have this economy. Kind of this going oh, on. Race riots. Race and, riots. And on top of that, the, my union fucked with my health insurance. So, you know. And we're out of coffee. <laughs> we're out of coffee. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I'm not. You can't get toilet paper, right? Or I'm running out of toilet <laughs> paper. My favorite thing was that idiot saying that, um, you know, if we take out the blue states, then we're doing really well with COVID. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, hey, Jeff, Jeff, when are we going to get together? <laughs> Let's see. I'll, I'll meet you halfway, right? You'll meet us halfway, okay. <laughs> yeah, but then we have you to know, the, the worst thing I've got is next Monday, I have to go to a break fast. Oh, that's right, Jeff Kippur. Right? Oh, okay. Well, my cousin who's up in New Jersey now, he drove up from Florida called me yesterday oh, he drove up from florida. Like, i say no what did he bring came up from florida what did he bring with him <laughs> his wife <laughs> disease did he, he do the two, two week quarantine yeah exactly well, they're, they're daughters 
because yeah. one of the daughters is getting a second marriage in two weeks. Oh, okay. Well, That's wear a mask. But they're the ones, as I joke, he packed my room up after the disaster in Antarctica. So I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, uh, we've run out of time. Uh, it's not that we've run out of time. We could go on with this for hours and hours and hours, but I think you all have something to do this afternoon. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch my story. Well, the, what makes this show so possible, especially I have to look me, at my chicken. <laughs> yeah, take my he's, nap. In, he's in the other room, Marjorie. Did you want to reach that? <laughs> Did you reach that timer, Marjorie? <laughs> What? Hey, did you reset the timer? Yeah, the time, I've got two timers on now. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, how much time is left on the timer, uh, uh, Echo? How much time is left on the timer? We have two timers on Bennett's Echo Show. Mm -hmm. The 10-minute timer is about 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Huh? And the 15-minute timer is about 10 minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be sure. Yeah, so we got to go off the air. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you, never, you never know who the chicken Thank you, about. Andrew. Always appreciate it. And uh, thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Steve Bender. Uh, Rick Sheckman. Shecky, thank you. Love having you here. Uh, I love doing these afternoon shows. It mean, means you can do it. Uh, Len, thank you. Well, just, just so people know, Alex did call to make sure I was awake. I well, you said oh, call me to make sure I'm awake, so I called you to make sure. The only, the only talk show in history where we call people. Anybody need a wake up call, just let me know. That is true. Thank you. Sponsored by Hilton. Jeff, yes. Thank That's you. great. Uh, everybody wave goodbye, and I'll wave back at you. You didn't thank me. And uh, bring this whole thing to an end, okay? You didn't thank me. Thanks, Thanks Alex. And uh, goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Ben. Bye. 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 <laughs>